Welcome to Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins. I'm Sonny Grint, and we're finishing up with our Getting Started with Creative Drawings curriculum. Today, we're ready for Lesson 3. In Lesson 3, we're going to create an outline embroidery of the teddy bear you created back in Lesson 1. So don't forget, you can always go to www.creative-drawings.com to download the exercises so you can follow along. So for Lesson 3, we're going to open that file that we created in Lesson 1 and convert it to an outline. It's really simple. Then we're going to look at our design and remove extra outlines where needed. There are times you may need to break apart sections of your design to remove just pieces of that design and that's what we're going to do in Part 3. Then we're going to learn how to adjust our outlines and finally save the design or export it as a quilt format. Really, it's up to you. So again, don't forget to go to our website www.creativedrawings.com to download those exercises so you can follow along. So are you ready? Let's get going. So now let's go up to the Open File folder and remember where you saved your designs as we've been going, going along through these lessons. We're just going to choose the very first one that we created, the My Teddy Bear. You can see them in the preview and click Open. Now we want to select the whole teddy bear. One of the easiest ways is to hold the control key on your keyboard and press the letter A. That way it will select everything that's on your screen. Once you do that, go down and look at the thread palette down at the bottom of your screen. With this little thread palette you'll see that there are many different colors that are used in your design. We've changed some of these colors previously. Now we want to actually add an outline to everything in our embroidery. To add an outline, you'll notice that there's a little pin in the color box that has an X through it. That means there is no outline today. All we need to do to add an outline to the whole design is to come up here to the black color box and move our mouse to the upper left corner so the mouse has a little pen next to it and left click. Once you do that, you'll notice there's a pin in the black color box in the colors used down here at the bottom. That means you really have created an outline around your whole teddy bear. Now that we have the outline, we want to get rid of the fill. To get rid of the fill, again, make sure your teddy bear is all selected, that everything is selected on the screen. And then move your mouse over the X color box, the very far left color box that is in the bottom row. And notice there's a bucket on my, uh, on my mouse. Once I have that bucket on the mouse, I click on the bottom right hand part of that color box with the X, just left click, and you've gotten rid of all of the fill in your teddy bear. So go ahead and go up and left click, and then notice I zoomed in just a little bit. You have no fills left, you've created your teddy bear in an outline. That was it, it was that easy to do it, but now we're going to make some adjustments. So go ahead and go back and try and get that teddy bear, make him into an outline, and then we're going to take away some of the extra lines that are not needed. 